What if one massive tunnel buried deep beneath California's most fragile estuary could determine the future of water for 27 million people? As climate extremes intensify and earthquakes loom on the horizon, the state faces a pressing dilemma. How can it safeguard a system so vital yet so vulnerable? At stake is more than just infrastructure. It's the stability of California's cities, farms, and ecosystems. This tunnel, still on the drawing board but already stirring fierce debate, is billed by its supporters as a modern solution to an aging, brittle network. For critics, it represents a high-stakes gamble with enormous environmental and financial consequences. Wrapped in scientific promise and political controversy, the project has emerged as one of the most ambitious water infrastructure plans in California's history. Today, let's delve into California's $20 billion Delta Conveyance Project, a project that could transform how California manages and moves water for generations. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video, as it's the best way to support this channel. California's water system is under growing pressure from aging infrastructure and a changing climate. The state depends on a complex network of dams, aqueducts, and reservoirs to move water from the rainfall-rich north to the arid south, home to most of its population and farmland. At the center of this system lies the Sacramento-San Joaquin Delta, a critical estuary that supplies drinking water to millions, supports vital ecosystems, and anchors the state's agricultural economy. Historically, water availability followed a predictable rhythm. Winter storms built snowpack in the Sierra Nevada, which melted gradually in spring to fill reservoirs. From November to March, reservoirs focused on flood control. In April, they shifted to storing snowmelt for use through the dry season. But climate change is disrupting this balance. California now faces less snow, prolonged droughts, warmer water, and rising seas. Reducing water supply and increasing seawater intrusion into the delta during low-flow periods. Compounding the risk, much of the delta remains protected by aging flood barriers vulnerable to earthquakes and failure. In response to these mounting risks, California is looking to modernize its water infrastructure. At the core of this system is the State Water Project, a vast network of reservoirs, aqueducts, and pumping stations that delivers water to over 27 million people and hundreds of thousands of acres of farmland. To strengthen the State Water Project and adapt to emerging climate challenges, the Delta Conveyance Project was proposed to add new intakes and an underground tunnel to more reliably capture and transport water from the Sacramento River. The concept of diverting freshwater around the Delta dates back to the 1940s. One of the earliest major proposals, the Peripheral Canal, aimed to transport Sacramento River water directly to southern aqueducts, bypassing the Delta entirely. It was rejected by voters in 1982 amid strong opposition from environmental groups and northern communities. The idea returned under Governor Jerry Brown with the California Water Fix, a large-scale plan involving twin tunnels beneath the Delta. However, it faced heavy scrutiny over its scale, environmental impact, and escalating costs, ultimately failing to gain widespread support. When Governor Gavin Newsom took office, he pushed for a revised approach, a single tunnel design that would reduce the environmental footprint while pursuing the same core objectives. This streamlined version became the Delta Conveyance Project. It underwent a new environmental review, updated engineering, and broader stakeholder engagement, reviving a long-standing vision in a more focused and potentially feasible form. The Delta Conveyance Project is one of California's most ambitious water infrastructure initiatives. Central to the plan is a 45-mile-long, 36-foot-wide tunnel that will run deep beneath the Sacramento-San Joaquin Delta, from the town of Hood in the north to a new pumping station near Bethany Reservoir in the south. Positioned 140 to 170 feet underground, the tunnel is designed to bypass aging levees and environmentally sensitive areas, increasingly at risk from earthquakes, floods, and sea level rise. Water will be diverted from the Sacramento River through two intake facilities near Hood and Cortland, 
with a maximum flow rate of 6,000 cubic feet per second, roughly equivalent to three Olympic swimming pools each minute. The system is intended to operate during high flow seasons, particularly in winter and early spring, when excess runoff can be captured. During ecologically sensitive periods, diversions will be reduced to protect native fish and habitats. After traveling through the tunnel, the water will be lifted into Bethany Reservoir and conveyed south via the California Aqueduct, part of the State Water Project. By shifting diversions upstream and underground, the project avoids reliance on existing South Delta pumps that reverse river flows and harm migratory species. This change is expected to support healthier ecosystems, aiding species such as Chinook salmon, steelhead trout, and delta smelt, while improving the long-term reliability of California's water supply. Constructing a tunnel of this scale beneath one of California's most ecologically sensitive regions requires precision and minimal environmental disruption. The underground tunnel will be built using tunnel boring machines, massive mechanized systems that excavate and line the tunnel simultaneously. These machines allow for deep underground construction while avoiding disturbance to the delta's surface waterways and wetlands. Vertical access shafts will be strategically positioned along the route to lower TBM components, remove excavated material, and enable future inspection and maintenance. Construction will remain outside sensitive waterways, focused instead on pre-designated or previously disturbed areas to limit environmental impact. The intake facilities are being designed to meet stringent environmental standards, including state-of-the-art fish screens that reduce harm to native species. All major infrastructure will be engineered for seismic resilience, with reinforced linings and structural safeguards suited to California's earthquake-prone terrain. As of 2025, the project is in its pre-construction phase. The final environmental impact report was approved in December 2023, and the permitting process is ongoing. Permits are expected to be secured by 2027, with construction potentially beginning in 2028. If completed on schedule, the Delta Tunnel could become operational in the early 2040s, offering a long-term, low-impact solution to California's evolving water and climate challenges. The Delta Tunnel project is estimated to cost $20.1 billion. Instead of relying on state or federal tax revenue, this project will be primarily funded by water agencies that benefit from it, such as the Metropolitan Water District, Kern County Water Agency, and Santa Clara Valley Water District. These agencies are contributing through ratepayer funds, loans, and bonds, with over $140 million already committed as of 2024. A state analysis projects $38 billion in economic benefits, citing improved drought resilience and seismic safety. Critics, however, argue that such projections are optimistic and fail to account for environmental, legal, and social costs. The Delta Conveyance Project has faced strong opposition since its inception, driven by legal, environmental, and social concerns. Environmental groups, tribes, and local communities argue the tunnel could harm ecosystems, cultural sites, and rural communities, while enabling more water exports at the Delta's expense. The decade-long construction period also raises concerns over noise, traffic, and land disruption for rural communities. The project's complex permitting process has led to delays, lawsuits, and political challenges. Critics question whether a $20 billion investment should be concentrated in a single solution. Many see the project as continuing a historic pattern of diverting water from Northern to Southern California, calling instead for decentralized, locally driven solutions like recycling, desalination, and groundwater recharge to ensure a more equitable water future. Despite controversy, the Delta Tunnel offers key advantages by addressing growing water supply risks due to natural disasters and climate volatility. A major earthquake could collapse Delta levees, causing saltwater intrusion and cutting off much of California's water supply for months. The tunnel offers a seismically secure pathway to move water even if the delta suffers catastrophic damage. It also enables more flexible water management 
by capturing excess runoff in wet years for use during dry periods. A critical advantage in an increasingly unpredictable climate. Furthermore, the tunnel's underground design avoids many of the surface impacts that have plagued earlier conveyance systems. Unlike new dams or surface canals, it does not require flooding new land or altering major above-ground ecosystems. The Delta Conveyance Project stands at the intersection of urgency and uncertainty. It promises to modernize a critical water system, protect against seismic and climate risks, and offer a more balanced approach to managing California's most precious resource. Yet, it remains years away from construction, with permitting still underway and public debate ongoing. As the climate grows more volatile and the state's water needs intensify, the question is no longer whether California must act, but how. Can this tunnel truly future-proof the state's water supply, or is it time to pursue entirely new solutions? What do you think? Should California bet big on the tunnel or invest in alternatives? Leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.